Pizza's here. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another food review. I'm Joe from joesdaily.com. If you guys are liking these food reviews, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe. Today, I am super excited to be trying the Beyond Italian Sausage Pizza from Pizza Hut. Now, from my understanding, this is the first pizza to use Beyond Meats. Now, there might be a mom and pop shop out there in the United States, let's say, that's used Beyond Meats, and maybe this isn't the first time someone's done this, because I'm sure someone has tried it. You know, some vegetarian out there was like, um, I miss sausage, I miss pepperoni, I want a little meat. So let's put a little Beyond Sausage on there. And I don't blame them, because Beyond Italian Sausage is delicious. A little bit of background, Sarah and I cook a jambalaya almost once or twice a month, and uh, we use the Beyond Italian Sausage, and it's phenomenal. Full transparency though, not all Beyond products hit it out of the park. I'm not really a fan of their ground meat or their ground meat supplement, you know, their, their plant-based one. Um, also their bratwurst or their, I guess their, I guess it's their original sausage. It's not as flavorful as the, the Italian sausage. So just, just wanted to be transparent with you guys. I'm not like a diehard fan of Beyond. I think what they're doing as, you know, forward thinking products, you know, doing meat free products, I think it's fantastic. Uh, like I said, the Italian sausage is amazing. So that's why I'm excited to try this pizza. Now, before I open this up, I did want to show you, I had to rip this off here just because there was like a random advertisement on here. But so obviously pizza, pizza, you can see it's green here, beyond, it's got the plant base, hut approved. It's got their, um, what do they call it? Sealed at the hut, opened by you. Yeah, so they do this, so obviously it shows that no one has opened this pizza. So the seal of approval, I appreciate that. I'm just excited to try this, so let's get right in. Alrighty, so I am gonna break the seal. Oh, ho, oh. oh. Would you look at, whoo, would you look at that? Let me zoom in here for ya. Ooh. So I also got some garlic dipping sauce because it's my favorite, but like I said, I didn't do any, any adjustments to the pizza itself. It is just the Beyond Sausage. Oh, I did adjust the crust, but that doesn't mean anything about the pizza. It shouldn't affect the pizza at all. All right, first things first, gotta get a good piece. This one looks good, it's big. Got a bunch of Beyond Sausage on there. I'm gonna put that on the plate and put the pizza down. All right, you gotta just go right in the first bite. Let's do this, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Wow, you can even see you know, in Italian sausage, you'll get like fennel. You'll get like little spices you can see in the sausage. You can tell they did the same thing here. Little bits of fennel. Wow. That sauce all in my face. So I forgot if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, um, this costs about $13.99. I got a few other things like breadsticks and whatnot for the wife. But yeah, so this should cost you roughly around $13.99. I know it varies from place to place. I'm in Illinois. I think it's the same price if I was back in California. So in case you guys were wanting the prices. According to a press release, they are offering two different pizzas in the Beyond. Obviously you can customize pizzas, right? I mean, I'm sure this is just for them to kickstart them using Beyond or the partnership with Beyond but they have the Beyond Italian Sausage Pizza, which is what I had today. They also have the Great Beyond Pizza, which is a specialty pizza craft with fresh veggies, toppings that include tomatoes, slices of red onions, hangy banana peppers, served up on Pizza Hut's classic original pan, crust paired perfectly alongside the savory Beyond Italian Sausage. Now, it is, if I was to rate this, this is a typical Pizza Hut pizza. Pizza Hut's notorious, their bottom crust is super soft, but it's greasy and it's very greasy, like my fingers, I don't know, I'm not gonna zoom in, but you can kind of see the glistening. Most pizzas are greasy. For some reason, the way they do their crust, though super tasty, the bottom absorbs a lot of grease. So it's kind of like a grease fest on the bottom. So not that I'm here to review the pizza itself, you know, because if you've had pizza, you already know this, but I think I wanted to mention that just because some people that don't maybe, maybe they don't eat pizza that often, but now they're curious about the Beyond Sausage pairings maybe they want to know that. If I was to rate this dough as a pizza itself, I would 100% give this like a four out of five. I don't really give anything a five out of five because there's always something to complain about. But the Beyond Sausage Crumbles are so good. They taste amazing. I kid you not, if you gave this to someone and you did not tell them that this was not real sausage, they would think it's sausage. The way they make the Beyond Sausage, they make it to smell, taste, and the overall texture of it is, is like if you were biting into a pork sausage. But yeah, I would give this a four out of five, 100%. It's delicious. Um, 
I almost said delicious and nutritious. It's not nutritious, it's pizza. But yeah, this would have me rethinking ordering Pizza Hut. Out of all the quote unquote fast food pizza, you know, you got Domino's, you got Pizza Hut, you got Papa John's, whatever. Pizza Hut's definitely not at the bottom, but it's definitely not at the top. I don't know if I even have a top one. Now that I moved to Illinois, we have a place called Emo's. Matter of fact, my wife's family used to own an Emo's. If you're not from the area, you probably don't know what this is, but I probably would go, go to them first because they're local and it's a different type of pizza. Cause you know, I could be, I'd be happy with the DiGiorno. I like pizza in general, so I don't really care if it's frozen or not. But yeah, the fact that they're serving Beyond is really delicious. And if you want to go even further and try more Beyond products, Dunkin' Donuts, I believe they still have it. They have a breakfast sandwich that uses the Beyond sausage. So you can try it over there as well. So yeah, pizza, good job. Beyond sausage, good job. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching another food review. I did just make a Taco Bell one about their new Cheddar Chalupa. So if you guys want to see that, you can find that in the playlist of reviews and unboxings. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. If you can like and comment on the video, it means a lot to me. Also, let me know if there's a new product you want me to try on camera. Happy to do it. I'll go spend all the money in the world to make you guys happy. So you let me know what you want. If you guys want to catch me on social media, all my channels are down below. Everything's at Joe's Daily, so I'm easy to find. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot. So go follow me. Until next time, guys, I don't know what my next video will be. It might be a review. It might be an unboxing. Who knows? But I will see you soon. Peace.